And here we go. We got an FMA stall here at 430. Let's see what it wants to do here. TAUG about to hit the volume criteria here that I drew on, on my lines. Trying to put in an order for FMA, but did not get filled there. Filled at 4.30. Up a quick 2,500 bucks. Let's see what's going on here. Four thirty five wall. See if we can break that. Here we go. Up a quick thirty two hundred bucks. Taking some off the table at 37. Taking half off the table at 37. THUG not moving here at 865. PHOT nice move here at 64. I'm going to wait for a dip on that. Already locked in $2,500 in gains off my FMA position. Let's see if it hits that 440 target that I noted in my watch list. 39s are up. Nice amount of money here. PHOT T65. 440s on FMA 441. Four forty one and FMA. Watching dip on PO PHOT also simultaneously. <clears throat> Let's see if FMA can hit four fifty here. All right, I'm going to sell the rest. Oh, Arca just jumped a bid. Going to cancel for a second there.
because I could just whack him. FMMA is still going up a substantial amount here. Four forty sevens on the ass now, up seventy two hundred dollars easily in the first five minutes. All right, put in my cell order. Twenty two thousand shares left to fill. Twenty thousand shares to fill. All right, I'm all out, guys. Locked in 71.84 in gains within the first seven minutes. And that's pretty much how you do it. Once you recognize the volume criteria has been met, 1 to 1.5 million, as you can see here, I've drawn on my dotted lines. Just load the dip, sell the rip. Simple as that. Got in at 430, 63,800 shares. Sold half at 637, just to reduce my risk. And sold the rest at the top, locking in $7,200 in gains easy in five minutes. And that's how you do it.